Hi folks, so today I've got a bit of a different video for you. As the title would suggest, I'm going to be talking about whether you should or should not study music at university. I studied at Napier University in Edinburgh for four years and I studied music, so I've got a bit of insight so I can tell you what's good about it and what's bad and whether it's worth it or not. So it goes without saying that this is just my opinion and everyone's experience will differ. But I wanted to outline a few of the main things that you might want to consider. So let's firstly talk about the main one. Do you actually need to study at university? So simply put, no, you do not need to study music to become a professional musician. The thing is though, I know for a fact that I would not be doing music full time if it weren't for the fact I studied music. For me, going to study music at uni gave me the time to really focus on what I wanted to do. It gave me the drive and it gave me the inspiration to finally say to myself, this is what I want to do. So I went to uni with a pretty solid plan. I wanted to be a sound engineer. I just happened to play the drums and so that's why I applied to a music course and it had a sound engineering section within that music course. But by the time I left, I felt like I could actually take the drumming thing a lot more seriously. So really that time in uni allowed me to mature as a person but also really search and find what I want to do within the industry. But the thing is, if you've already decided that you want to do something very specific, like I want to be a singer or I want to be a session guitarist, then maybe spending four years at uni might not be necessary for you. If you've already got a plan in place and you feel clued up about things in terms of the industry and how things work in the industry and you've got connections already, then I don't think uni is really that valuable. But if you've already got that drive and inspiration, don't worry about uni and just go and you know go to jam nights, network with people, focus on getting private lessons. You know, you don't have to go to uni to do that. But if you're like me and you need some guidance to get to that point while building up your skills, then studying is a great option. This brings me to another point about studying music. So the nice thing about studying music is that you'll actually build not just your instrument skills, but a whole other bunch of skills as well. You'll likely learn how to operate studios, build business plans, network, apply for funding, all that good stuff, and that'll all be included in the course. So when you leave uni, you won't just be a great musician, you'll also be a great business person, you'll be able to actually network effectively, and you'll have good connections within the industry thanks to your tutors, your peers, everyone. So it's a great starting point for sure. And when it comes to your instrument, you'll be pushed out your comfort zone completely, which is a good thing. So when I started uni, I couldn't read drum music, I didn't know what rudiments were, I played basically pop punk and nothing else, and I was pretty sloppy. <laughs> If it didn't have that initial push from Jim Walker, my original drum teacher, shout out to Jim, hope you're well, I would still, you know, I'd still be playing rock music exclusively, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but I wouldn't be able to read music, I wouldn't know what a paradiddle was still, and I wouldn't be able to play all this new amazing music that I now love. So when Jim showed me all this new music, it's a totally different world that I would never have even noticed if I just didn't study. If you're lazy like me and you just want to play Blink-182 all day, then it's a great option because you're going to be forced to play new stuff and you're going to progress a lot quicker as a musician. And you can of course go to private tutors who are going to give you a very similar experience. So it's just a way up if you want a kind of planned curriculum or you want tailored drum lessons. Personally I quite liked the planned curriculum because it was paced quite nicely and you really developed to a, a nice kind of point and then it was the sky's the limit from that point because you get to a point at uni where the tutors are just like, you know what, you can pick all the music you want to do, I'll just teach you what I can about the music but it's all up to you now, which is nice, it gets you to a point where you feel confident in tackling most musical situations, which is great. So as well as your private tuition, you've also got the ability to play for your course mates exams, so there's stuff that I would never play normally like Little Mix and like Sam Smith and because you're playing for someone else's exam you've got to play for them and you're playing it on an ensemble and it's not about you which is really nice and again it's going to make you a better musician and it's going to make you a well-rounded musician because you're playing more music that you wouldn't normally play this brings me to my next point the opportunity for collaboration is very much present in such a small collective of like-minded musicians you're going to likely end up with some pals for life and the benefit is that you can form bands you can do all sorts of things like, you know, you can share tips, you can record together, go on networking events, all that good stuff. So studying music relies on you being very proactive. It really is a case of you get what you put in. Now what you could do is you can do the bare minimum to get past all the tests and the exams and you'll get your degree. But the thing is the degree itself is not that useful, but the skills you learn along the way to get that degree are very useful. I've never been asked for my CV, 
but I've definitely been asked, you know, can you read drum music, can you program an SPD, can you play to a click track? So those are all skills that I did hone in at uni. So definitely it's worth being proactive about it rather than just doing the, you know, passing the tests. That's great that you do that, but you should do that and also build up your practical skills. So I spent a lot of extra time in the studios. I went and played drums, you know, all night, and that was all to build up employable practical skills. The degree itself is not that useful, but the skills you learn along the way is extremely useful, and that's the stuff that's gonna get you the gig. So being proactive, that's totally a personal decision, and it's a conscious decision. So if you do study music and you go to university, definitely make the most of the facilities there. So let's talk about some of the negatives, because unfortunately there are some negatives. So going to uni is expensive. You've got tuition fees, you've got accommodation, you've got food, you've got maintenance of your equipment, which is fairly unique for music students because you know, you've got drumsticks, drum heads, cymbals, all that stuff. So it is expensive. Now you could argue that you could spend that money elsewhere and it's more valuable, you know, studio gear, drums, tuition, like private tuition, marketing, branding, you know, all that stuff, a car. You could argue that, but it's really something that you have to weigh up for yourself. The other thing is it takes time. It takes four years to do this degree. And you could also argue that that time is better spent elsewhere. Just practicing, going out networking, meeting people, which you can still do at uni, but it's harder to do because you might be busy at times and it's not as easy to get out and do things. If you are confident and you're ready to get out into the industry, those four years might be better spent somewhere else and actually just doing the things that you want to do. Another thing that I want to point out is that there's going to be a lot of essays and there is a dissertation at the end of it. At the end of the day, you are at uni, it's an academic course, so it goes without saying there is going to be academic elements to it. So if you're not really bothered about doing all the academic studying, then it might be considered not worth your time doing all these academic parts and it could be taking away time from doing something else practical like networking or practicing or whatever. However, I actually enjoyed the essays because the essays were related to the subject. So there's a lot of industry essays, you know, writing about the business and how to actually start up record labels and things like that. A lot of good essays like that. Um, so I found a lot of value in it because it gave me an insight to the industry. But again, that's not for everyone. If you don't want to do a lot of writing or reading, then maybe uni's not for you. And finally, the one that I mentioned earlier is that you don't actually need to study music. But in all honesty, unless you're like a pro at the top of his game with amazing skills, like top tier skills, you're going to find some value in studying it. It's whether you want to spend that much money and time doing it is the main thing you want to consider. In conclusion though, I believe that positives outweigh the negatives. The lectures will help you as much as they can, but it's up to you at the end of the day to get the most out of the course. So making the most out of the resources, the facilities, the people, the social life, all of that good stuff is going to all make you a better musician and it's gonna put your name in the industry. So I went into uni with a very closed mind. I wanted to be a sound engineer and I was like straight down the line, that's what I wanted to do. But as I got better at drums and I got some guidance and tuition, I was like, ah, oh, maybe I can actually do this. So go in with an open mind if you do go to uni and you wanna make as much music as possible, learn as much as possible while you get the chance and really just be the hardest working person there. I could go on about this even more and I could talk about it all day, but this is already a hugely dense video. There's a lot of information because it's just me sat talking to you. So, you know, it's a lot to take in. So I'm going to end it here. If you have any questions about studying music, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a bit of value out of it. But until next time, happy drumming and I'll see you later. Cheers.